hello everyone in this video we will see how an active power is flowing in an interconnected system this is a commonly asking question in genco transco discam exams even in gate and engineering service exam also so i will give a two bus system and you'll ask you find out what is the active power flow direction so we all know that in a two bus system which is interconnected by a transmission line let's say sending and bus voltage is v1 at an angle delta 1 the receiving and bus voltage is v2 at an angle delta 2 now if you neglect the the shunt admittance and resistance of the transmission line then the line is represented with simple series reactance now if you see the the power delivered at bus 1 is p1 and power received at bus 2 is p2 now i am assuming that the power flow is from bus 1 to bus 2 right now what is the expression p1 equal to p2 equal to v1 v2 by x sin of delta 1 minus delta 2 we all know that from simple mass if the sign of positive angle is positive sign of negative angle is what negative that means if delta 1 minus delta 2 if delta 1 minus delta 2 is positive means p1 and p2 are what positive that means the active power is flowing from bus 1 to bus 2 but when delta 1 minus delta 2 is positive simple thing we know that delta 1 should be greater than what delta 2 if delta 1 greater than delta 2 then delta 1 minus delta 2 is positive and p1 is positive and p2 is positive so that's why our assumed direction is correct and the active power is flowing from bus 1 to bus 2 suppose if delta 1 minus delta 2 is negative let's say delta 1 minus 2 delta 1 minus delta 2 is negative then we get p1 and p2 are negative so from this what you can conclude the active power is flowing from bus 2 to bus 1 in the first case the power is from bus 1 to bus 2 and the second case the power is from bus 2 to bus 1 clear so from this the final conclusion is that always active power flow depends on the load angle difference between the buses load angle difference between the buses and the second conclusion is that always active power is flowing from higher load angle bus to lower load angle bus for example if the question is given like this let's say bus 1 voltage is 1 at an angle minus 10 degrees bus 2 voltage is 1 at an angle 0 degrees but which is higher load angle minus 10 is more or 0 degrees is more yes obviously 0 degrees is greater than minus 10 degrees that means the active power flow is from bus 2 to bus 1 such a simple questions will be given in our genco transco discam exams thank you